Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Melkazunky, and this is going to be my QBD guide, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill QBD pretty effectively. Um, I do realize that there are quite a few lower levels. Um, I shouldn't say that because I know you guys aren't beginners to this game or anything, but players that don't have, uh, you know, max stats and all the best gear and stuff like that. Um, so before we start the guide, I just want to lay down some ground rules of the very minimum that you need to kill QBD effectively enough to make it at least worth killing. Um, so first of all, you need 85 Herblore. There's no exceptions to that. Um, you need, I would say, at least 70 magic because you can get away with using protection prayers since the majority of the damage that you take at QBD um, is not from her attacks, but it's from her dragon fire and the tortured souls, which prayer doesn't work against anyway. Um, so yeah, you can get away with protection prayers because you're going to be eating a lot whether you use soul split or whether you use protection prayers. Um, but you need at least 70 for piety at least. Um, and I would recommend 80 stats, you know, 80 range if you want to use range here, 80 magic if you want to use magic here, um, 80 attack, strength, defense if you're going to be using chaotics. Um, and don't use anything lower than an 80 tiered weapon. So don't go here with like a staff of light or don't go here with the bandos god sword. You need at least chaotics. If you don't like dungeoneering, um, you can get 80 and get yourself a royal crossbow. And uh, you just have to kill QBD one time um, in lower leveled gear. But if you have super anti fires and you're using like a god sword, it's difficult to do, um, but it is possible. And you can forge your royal crossbow and then use that for future attempts. So I also realized that I am wearing Dregors. Um, and a lot of people asked if I could do a kill with using chaotic melee weapons. Um, however, Killing QBD with Dragors and killing QBD with Chaotic Melee Weapons is exactly the same. It just takes longer with Chaotic Melee Weapons. There is no difference to the abilities you use. There is no difference to um, the style of which you approach the kill. So the kill is going to be exactly the same um, if you're using Chaotic Melee. And if you guys want to see a magic or ranged kill, I can do that. I didn't feel like it was completely necessary. However, if you feel strongly about that and you'd like to see just a video, I guess, on how to copy how to do it, um, I can do that using Chaotic Staff for magic and using um, Chaotic Crossbows for range or Royal Crossbows, something like that. But anyway, uh, for the gear, I'm wearing War Priest. I would recommend to wear War Priest because it just gives pretty good defense against all combat styles, which is what you want here. If you don't have War Priest, wear Bandos if you're meleeing. But if you're maging, um, I would recommend to wear War Priest just because uh, you'll get pretty torn up by the Queen Black Dragon's range attacks if you don't at least have some decent range defense. So the cape, I have a max cape. You can just switch that out for a skill cape. That's fine. Um, I'm wearing a Slayer helmet because I am on task right now, as you can see. So if you do a lot of Slayer, I would highly recommend just to wait until you get a Black Dragon's task to kill QBD because it's much, much, much faster uh, with the bonus from the Slayer Helm. And then I have an Amulet of Fury um, and the Penance Aura, which I would recommend to bring if you have it uh, because it pretty much means you need no prayer here. And then for the 6 age circuit, that's my ring. Um, you could swap that out for like a warrior's ring or a seer's ring if you're maging, something like that. Um, and if penance is recharging, just bring vampirism. So in my inventory, I have two overlift flasks, two renewal flasks, three super ant fires. That will get me about 26 kills um, or one hour of work. And in my pakiak, I just have a whole bunch more food. And if you don't have a pakiak, you can bring a war tortoise. Um, or even a unicorn stallion, and that'll work okay. Uh, however, if you want to stay for a full 26 kills, you need to have a pack yak. But without further ado, uh, we'll get into the kill here, and I'll show you how it's done. All right, standing outside the QBD's lair now, and we're ready to go in. So let's do this. So just remember to drink your dragon fire before you uh, attack the QBD and pot up while she's resting. So I can say with this gear um, and setup and using Drygore as well on a Slayer task, I get two kills every overload dose, um, which is 26 kills an hour if you bring enough overloads to stay an hour, which is also about 8 mil profit an hour, so that's really good. Um, but anyway, if you're not on a Slayer task, you can't really be expecting that much. And why am I praying protect item? Um, my quick prayers are all messed up because I was at next. But on the first phase, all you want to do is just get up to your first threshold um, and use the destroy ability. And that will get you pretty close down to the 
the end of the first phase and if you are using chaotix you want to work your way up to the second threshold and then use the assault ability and that will finish off the first phase for you so i don't like to zerk until the third phase and i only zerk um i zerk once or twice per kill it depends on how well my threshold hits on the first um phase so if my threshold hits really bad and i can get up to near max adrenaline for the second phase then i will zerk on the second phase um, but otherwise you just want to do it on the third phase because the thing is um, if you can get two kills per overload dose while only zerking one time per kill then you don't really need to do it more than that um, but anyway yeah the only thing you really have to worry watch out for damage wise uh, i found that the main damage that you get uh, is from these guys, these tortured souls, and from tanking the fire waves when she spits the fire at you. Uh, that's going to do the vast majority of the damage to you. So those are the only things you really want to watch out for. Um, because the fire wave, if you're, as long as you're using super anti-fires, they hit constant 750s. So if she just spits a fire wave at you, um, and then it she dies on her phase you don't want to uh run through that fire wave if you can help it so if there is a tortured soul on you just kill the tortured soul and then wait a few seconds um because the thing is if that fire wave goes over you uh while you're activating the dragonkin artifact uh that can deal a ton of damage it can deal like four or five 750 hits so you want to avoid that um it's better just to wait a few seconds than it is to have to tank that damage so on the fourth phase, all you got to watch out for um, is the super hot flames, um, and that's about it, really. The super hot flames, and you also spawn four tortured souls all at once, um, and of course when they all hit you, that's about 4,000 to 5,000 damage. So that's something you want to watch out for as well. Um, I'm going to do a couple more fourth phases just to show you guys, uh, I guess, the super hot flames and the time stops. I'll try to get one of each of those um, and show you guys how to combat them but anyway onyx bolt tips from that drop not bad all right coming into the fourth phase now so hopefully hopefully she uses flames or this tortured soul try soul tries to time stop me so i can show you how that's done one thing i did want to mention is if you want to make your here perfect so when um the tortured soul goes into a corner like that and starts saying random crap you want to kill him as fast as possible because otherwise your whole screen will turn blue and freeze um and then if QBD uses the super hot flames on you after that happens, you're probably going to die. So you want to make sure that you kill that guy as fast as possible. Uh, the last thing I wanted to say that might help you out a little bit with killing QBD is if you want to, you can bring adrenaline potions. Um, and what that will help you do is they'll ensure that you can zerk twice per kill. And it'll make your kills a little bit faster. Um, not a whole lot, but if you want to be really pro, do bring some adrenaline potions and just uh, take a a sip or two of those every kill you can sip them once every 30 seconds so about two per kill but um there's an adior and cold drop so that's pretty nice it's about 200k i believe something like that anyway i'll try to get a super hot flames on this next fourth phase and show you how to combat that fourth phase time again let's get lucky and get a super hot flames i don't think i've ever said that before getting lucky equals super hot flames but we'll do it and i kind of messed up during that kill and had to eat like five sharks so oh well uh, it happens sometimes. So we're not going to get this, but this is the first time we do get the four tortured souls. So um, the only thing to worry about with them is they will hit you for like 4,000 damage. So you always want to make sure that your health is pretty high on the fourth phase. Obviously, that's not the only attack that does a lot of damage that you want to look out for. Um, but if those tortured souls spawn and you're at really low HP, which has happened to me before, they can KO you. So just be aware of that. Okay, well, I can't use get QBD to use the um, super hot flames on me for some reason during this trip. So, if you see something in your chat bar that says QBD readies herself to breathe super hot flames, it should be an orange text, run away to one of the sides of the platform. So that's all you need to do to combat that. But anyway, we're going to open up this last Dragon King or this last Dragon King Coffer, get a Dragon Kite Shield, and end the video. Now, yeah, okay, well that's somewhat disappointed but anyway that's about all for this guide thanks for watching farewell stay tuned for future guides